Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's video, I'll be talking about the running costs of the 135i. Last year, if you guys remember, I actually shot the same video for the 128Ti. Um, this year, I thought I'll do the similar thing because I've got a newer car and tell you the ins and outs of how much it actually costs to run it on a monthly basis. So the road tax, when I took delivery of the car, it was roughly about 37,317 pounds and 50 pence, uh, if I remember correctly. With that, a week later, I received my V5, uh, which is a, the registration thing that you get in the UK. And on there, it actually stated that I am a part of the premium tax now, which is uh, all good. And a part of me thinks maybe I should have kept the 128Ti just not to pay that luxury tax. Uh, standardly, you would pay, if you weren't part of the premium tax, it would be roughly £165 a year. Now, the way the premium tax works is if your car exceeds the 40000 mark, you have to pay an additional £355 which makes the total £520. So let's move on from the car tax. As I said, this car is on finance. Effectively, I am paying £44 more a month uh, versus the 128 Ti. I used to pay roughly about £400. You guys are probably asking me or wondering, what do I get extra for that £44 uh, a month? So the car is opted with the parking assistant, which gives you the reversing uh, camera, the cool feature where it can get you out of a tight spot. Basically it records the way you drive in and then it allows you to reverse out of that same spot. Obviously not forgetting the Sapphire paint. I opted for the uh, Pro Pack, which gives you the Harman Kardon uh, sound system in the interior, which I've actually done a video on comparing it to the 128Ti versus the 135i. You can check out the video for that. Uh, the 19552M wheels, which look pretty cool and make the car look more aggressive because they're bigger. Uh, the X drive system, uh, the extra power that the car has. This car burbles a lot. You can't hear it because of the GPS wheel. Insurance. Obviously, insurance differs from person to person to obviously where you live. If you're a 21 year old looking to buy a 135 buy be sure that your car insurance will probably be more than a thousand pounds my insurance for this year has increased by a hundred pounds because insurance companies see this as a dangerous car um, and they didn't see the ti as a dangerous car it's got an m badge on it effectively makes it more expensive so next up is tires um i actually hit a pothole quite recently and I found out the hard way how much tires costs for these cars. So my car came with Bridgestones from factory. I was hoping for Michelin, but didn't happen. Per tire will set you back roughly 195 pounds. So next on the list is fuel. Fuel cost is relatively higher than last year. Um, at the moment, I'm filling up with 99 Ron at roughly 85 pounds. I occasionally fill up with 95 Ron and that will cost me about 75 pounds. So depending on how I've driven the car, um, if I've driven it solely in Eco Pro mode, um, every time I fill up, I will get a consistent figure of 400 miles in the tank. And if I have driven the car in mixed modes, I'll get roughly 375 miles in the tank. I tend to pay my insurance off in full. So if I was to divide that up by 12 months, that is say the insurance will cost roughly about 54 pounds. So if we do 54 pounds plus 170, which is for the fuel, because I fill up twice, plus the 444 pounds for the PCP that I pay, that equals 668 pounds a month it costs to run the 135i this video thank you very much for tuning in and please don't forget to like and subscribe really appreciate it it helps me to do more videos like this catch you guys soon